moving forward together. We're now hearing from a family who says their loved one died last night at the Jacksonville nursing home that's reported more coronavirus deaths than any other in Northeast Florida. Officials with Signature Health of Jacksonville over on the west side say 15 residents have now died from COVID-19. News for Jack's reporters are working to keep you informed and safe during this pandemic. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lasway is joining us now from outside Signature Healthcare. Zach, we can only imagine just how heartbreaking this has been for the family. Joy, they say they are devastated and had no idea their aunt was this sick. At 68 years old, she's my mother's sister, Joan Wilson. She was happy, passed away. According to her family, she died of COVID-19 related complications inside Signature Healthcare of Jacksonville on Monday. My niece called me from Atlanta and she said, Aunt Kelly, have you seen the link? from Channel 4 News. With 13 reported deaths, this long-term care facility. Doty recalled her conversation with her niece just last night. I said, but Joan's fine. I said, I just talked to her last week and I talked to the nurse and I said, if anything comes up, please call me. Let me know what's going on. Her phone went missing apparently when they um, moved her from her room into isolation. But Doty says it was around that time her aunt was dying. I got a call last night after talking to my niece and telling my niece and reassuring her everything was fine that 830. Um, hello, we're calling to inform you that your aunt passed away. Doty says her aunt was asymptomatic and nurses told her she was doing fine in isolation. So there was a total of four patients in, in her room, her and three other people. In a room of strangers alone with no loved ones by her side. I didn't even get to say goodbye to her. It's my mom's only sister. She could have said goodbye to her. We would have known something was happening, but the whole week we're thinking everything's fine because everything was fine last week when we called. And they said if any changes were made, they would call us and let us know. We get a death call. That's what I'm calling it. We reached out to Signature Healthcare with several questions, including how they defined isolation. They referred us to the CDC guidelines, but they did say in part, quote, Generally speaking, this means the residents would be put in droplet isolation and staff would use the proper PPE to reduce the spread of a virus through respiratory droplets that can be transmitted through coughing, sneezing, or talking. Staff wear N95 masks, gowns, gloves, and eye protection. Decisions regarding patient placement are made on a case-by-case -case basis considering infection risks to other patients in the room and available alternatives. As for Wilson, Signature says they could not legally release any information on her case due to privacy laws. Again, that's at this time. Reporting live on the West Side, I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.